monolithic core. The strongest aspect of the Silencer Co. Hybrid is its versatility. With that comes a large number of accessories and different mounting options. In this video, we'll discuss the compatibility with both rifles and pistols, mounting options, and in cap choices to allow a user to get the most out of this suppressor. Starting out with rifles, the hybrid can be used in both a direct thread and a quick detach configuration. We'll look at the direct thread option first. The hybrid's direct thread modules are compatible with parts for both the Omega and the Harvester Big Bore so owners of multiple silencer co-suppressors may not need to purchase a unique set of parts specifically for the hybrid. A list of current thread pitches can now be seen on the side of the screen. After selecting the appropriate thread pitch, simply insert the thread mount module into the rear portion of the hybrid. Screw it down snugly with the provided tool. Once it's in there tight, you can just screw the hybrid directly onto your threaded host rifle. For a quick detach option, the hybrid is compatible with the ASR muzzle brakes and flash hiders. The muzzle devices for the Silencer Co. Spec War, Omega, and possibly Saker should you have the optional ASR mount will all work with the hybrid. The ASR mount is sold separately, but once purchased can easily be installed into the hybrid. There are a wide variety of thread pitches currently available, and new ones are being released in the future. Starting from scratch, you'll need the ASR muzzle device, ASR mount, and the hybrid itself. Install the muzzle brake or flash hider onto the host firearm according to Silencer Co's specifications. Once that muzzle device is installed, just take the ASR mount and thread it onto the rear portion of the hybrid, then use the provided spanner wrench to get it firmly tightened down. It should be fairly tight inside the suppressor just to assure it doesn't unthread by accident, and when doing this, no sort of thread locking compound is necessary at all. When the ASR mount is installed, thread the hybrid down over the muzzle device and then just turn the locking ring at the base of the suppressor. If you hear any type of ratcheting or feel resistance, make sure the locking ring is fully open. It should only be in the locked or closed position after it's fully threaded down over the muzzle device. And the locking ring should never be engaged when attempting to screw on or off the hybrid. The ASR mount and the thread mount modules can easily be swapped back and forth, so they're not any sort of permanent modification to the suppressor itself. Most all modern pistols have a browning style action where the barrel tilts when the weapon cycles. Adding weight to the end of the barrel can disrupt this action and cause primarily failures and ejection. To compensate for the weight of the suppressor, a booster assembly is going to need to be used. The booster housing is provided with the hybrid, comes right in the box, but it will require a piston of the necessary thread bitch to be purchased and then installed. Silencer Co. pistons are compatible with the hybrid, Omega 9K, Octang, and Osprey series of suppressors. Once you have the hybrid, the booster housing assembly, and the piston in hand, simply thread that booster assembly into the rear of the hybrid and tighten it down as shown. Once that's in there tight, you're going to remove the small rear cap from the booster housing and then take out the spring as well. You'll grab your piston, make sure it's well lubricated with a bit of grease, and insert it into the spring. On the threaded end of that piston, place the booster housing rear cap over it and press everything together. When those three pieces are assembled, you just screw them into the back of that hybrid and you're good to go. Although it seems complicated, after doing it once or twice it becomes exceptionally easy. It is worth keeping in mind this can only be assembled one way, so there's not really any way to put it together incorrectly or, or mess it up uh, if you're trying to figure out how to do it for the first time. Tighten the hybrid down onto the threaded barrel of the host pistol, and everything's good to go. With pistol suppressors, you might want to check every now and then just to make sure they're on there tight and that they haven't backed off when firing. This generally is, is more common in new firearms or new suppressors. Once the threads get fouled up a little, they tend to stick. Do keep in mind that suppressors get hot very quickly, so when you're making sure it's on the pistol tight, use a little caution not to burn yourself. If desired, you can also use the Octang and Omega 9K compatible 3 lug mount. The mount screws into the booster housing, but it doesn't require the piston, the booster rear cap, or that spring to be used at all. Installation is fairly straightforward, 
again just screws into that booster housing and then you mount it on the three lug hose just like you would any other three lug suppressor. It is important to know that this is only intended for pistol caliber carbines or sub guns with fixed barrels and it's not for use on any center fire rifle or browning action style pistols. And just as a side note, in case anybody was curious, a harvester thread mount or octang thread mount module will fit into the back of the booster housing, as will a piston with a silencer co fixed barrel spacer, but these really aren't the recommended ways to set up a direct thread solution for the hybrid. The hybrid comes with a .46 caliber end cap by default, but .223, .762, and 9mm options are also available. While they're optional, the caliber specific end caps do help with further decibel reduction and kind of tuning it specifically to that caliber. To install them, you'll just take the provided tool and remove the original end cap on there as demonstrated. With that off, you can screw the desired one in its place and tighten it down. It's a very quick and simple process. In addition to the 223, 762, and 9mm flat end caps, you could also use the 762 anchor brake, like the one that just comes default on the Omega. In the box with the hybrid is also a small little poster that discusses the available accessories and hybrid compatibility. It's not overly detailed, but it will serve as a good quick reference guide for how parts go together and what each different accessory looks like. It might not be necessary to a lot of guys out there, but it is a nice thing just to keep around for, for any future reference you might need. If you have any questions regarding the hybrid, its accessories, or anything else we sell, please feel free to contact us anytime.